Hey again, everybody. Tyler Parsons here, coming today with an exercise that you can do to do what? Increase club head speed, that's right. So I'm asked all the time, Tyler, don't have a lot of time, what can I do to swing fast? And simple answer is, pick up a club and swing fast. That sounds silly, I know. Uh, what I mean by that is we have to be able to train the body. It can't do something it doesn't understand, so we have to teach it what we're trying to do. Um, and one of the things that I like to do is if we have a speed stick, we can pick up a speed stick. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you know, they're, they're a little bit longer, um, they're not accurate, and it, it's irrelevant whether or not we think that a speed stick is giving us the accurate number here, but can we see and say, okay, my all out's giving me 110, then I get it up to 115 and 120, and faster is faster as long as we're comparing apples to apples, if we're always using the same thing, we're gonna get those apples, okay? So after you've loosened up, the way I sort of like to do this is in a set of, and it depends on the person, anywhere from five to 10. Now again, why do I say, well, it depends on the person? Depending on your physical fitness level and how often you've been doing this, five swings you may be spent and not able to keep up that same energy. So what we wanna do is sort of find out where you are but with that warm up, we'll go back, get loaded, and power through, okay? So we're here, we're through, and then back, and just keep on going, and do your five to 10. At the end of 10, we're done, okay? So I'm using these same numbers to sort of, again, based off of your level, but looking at power. After that certain number, we want to be done because we're gonna start slowing down. We're not recruiting as much muscle fibers. We're not firing them as fast. We only want fast. So that's gonna be a really good set for you to do. Take your time, recover. You can come back, do it again. I sort of like to mix this into my workout just at different times. So obviously we can do that with the club. We're not gonna get the same feedback. What I have here is a medicine ball. I have a fancy one, I have handles on this. Doesn't have to have handles, but it definitely makes it easier. If you do have one with handles, what we can do is our golf swing from there. And the reason I like this is it makes you engage that core. Okay, because if not, it's going all over the place. We can then go to one hand and fire that bad boy through, which on that one, I'm feeling a lot of lower body as well as in through here, having to power push because of the weight, I can't just do it with my hands. We can then go to the other side. This one's great to help out with the turn and power that through. So now I really feel like I'm gonna backhand and hit, rip through, twist, really good. Again, if nothing else, to give you the sense of what we're trying to accomplish with that club. So one more, this one definitely doesn't have to be with the medicine ball with the weight, but um, one that we're implementing into Justin Thomas's um, off season, which I've been looking forward to forever because since I've worked with him, it's been play, play, play. Finally has some downtime. And what we're gonna do is a half kneeling, and we're gonna do this two ways, half kneel to where we take the medicine ball, turn and explode. And we'll back up just a little bit more so you can see. I'm not wanting you to get comfortable and rest down on that knee. I'm wanting you to have to brace, okay? A couple reasons for that. By bracing, we're engaging that lower body, so we're firing those muscles. They're gonna be recruiting and doing their job. Second reason, as we're doing that, we're having to stabilize, okay? So we wanna stay nice and still. We're turning, firing. It's best if you can throw this. And again, get that benchmark. Try to get better each time. You can then switch, and we go the other direction. Typically, one's not as good as the other, but we want the body to be as symmetrical as we can. Second way we're gonna do this, we switch up with the legs, we're still doing that half kneel, but now we're going from low to high. Again, in this instance, the handles are limiting me, but I wanna go and I wanna slam and throw that ball down and see how far I can get it to bounce, okay? These are basically mimicking your lifts with the band or the cable, and then our chops, okay? so. Really good to help us out, being able to explode and throw, 
and also being able to turn, we want to try to stabilize, get the upper body, the lower body to do their job. That's the key, is getting everything to do what we want it to do, and then being able to apply it to that swing, okay? So hopefully this was helpful for you. Definitely some exercises you should get started on, especially over the winter. Increase that game, get that club head speed up. Hopefully have one, maybe even two less clubs into the green come springtime.